More stories, boss. There's no way I can read all these stories. I need more help. I need someone quick thinking, fast talking, good looking. I need... me. Say, this reminds me of Nicola Dybo's story, Clone. It stars the terrific Trevor Steve and the one and only Kellen Rock. Jacobs, roll the fill. Hi, my name is Nicholas Dybo, and I wrote the story Clone. Move it, Bruce. Yeah, yeah. Afraid Carl's gonna give you another swirly. How would you like it? Hey, girly boy. What's in the purse today? Gary's got it. Wanna get hurt? Get lost, Carl. Whatever. Later, Brucey. When your girlfriend's not around. That's it, man. I'm not standing up for you anymore. For Bruce Wilkes, this day was like any other. The same old boring life. The prefrontal cortex is the key to intelligence. And as you can see, stop. I have a magnificent medulla oblongata. Davida, baby. If you put all the great minds together, they would have to be magnified. Yes, all of them. This day in science be... class, something happened that would change Bruce's I life forever. <laughs> Mr. Einstein, this, Mr. Einstein, that. But he can do the things I can do. <laughs> Missing something? What the? Mr. Wilkes? Bruce was so frustrated. He wanted to get back at Carl Johnson, but he knew he couldn't. In the sea, like Gregor Mendel, are without a me. It's against the law, but science demands I risk all. Genius will be replicated. True, mind-blowing genius. My genius. Accidentally knocking his own hair off the table, the professor picked up Bruce's hair instead. There you are. And here I am. Millions of tiny neurons firing along pathways, recreating all my experience, 
all my knowledge. I love this. Well, let's welcome a new genius. A new me. Well, you know, you're gonna have to deal with your own problems at school. I can't help you with everything. Thank God there's only one of you. What are you doing? Have you lost your mind? Psst, over here. Who said that? I did. Who are you? Who are you? And what are you doing in my house? Your house? What is going on here? All I know is that I'm Bruce! It's my mom. Who are you talking to? Myself. Okay. Well, you know you got homework, so inside. Can you please get me my clothes? They're not your clothes. You want people to see you like this? Bruce? Yeah? Yeah? The clone led Bruce and Gary to the first place he remembered, life itself. Could it have gone wrong? Unless... Look, he's missing some hair like you. <sighs> the hair! Oh no, I... I did create another... Bruce. Oh. He used the wrong sample. Now what? I don't know. My mom's never gonna believe this. Hey. Your mom is Professor Black. Way to make him feel bad, Gary. None of this would have happened if it wasn't for Carl. What do you mean about Carl? Carl thinks he can do anything he wants to me. He tried to beat me up, he cut my hair, and he got me cloned. Yeah, and I'm the clone. My mom isn't really my mom. The mother I feel I've been with my whole life isn't real, because I've only been here a few hours. She doesn't even know me. Where's he going? My bed? Carl. Great. I'm gonna get me killed. If it ain't nerd. I suppose you've come to give me the money, you owe me? No. Not this time, Carl. I... I think I got some change in my pockets. Just you and me, Carl. Whatever. For the first time in his life, he looked in the mirror and liked what he saw. Hey. <laughs> you finally stuck up for yourself. I mean, you stuck up for your clone. Where is that guy? It's me. Going. I have no place to go. 
I have no mom or friends or anything. I'm a nobody. You are someone. I was nothing. I could never have stood up to Carl without you. So what? I'm going back. You'd rather be a piece of hair? This is amazing. Carl never bothered Bruce again, and as for the clone, Bruce's mother adopted him and named him Brian. The police arrested Professor Black for so many charges, you couldn't even name them all. There was one thing the police overlooked. The Professor Black they arrested was only a clone. In all my life, I never thought I could meet anyone as intelligent as you. <laughs> you are truly a marvel. <laughs> you give me shivers. <laughs> Love that movie. What did you think? It really hit close to home. Jacobs, roll the slides. Twelve-year-old Nicholas Dybul loves to write unusual and suspense-filled stories. Nicholas enjoys spending time with his family and playing with Zeus. In his spare time, Nicholas is a football fanatic. Great story, Nicholas. Don't go away. Kid writer Josh Litman's got a new way to answer the phone. Let's get one thing straight. I'm the only one who can boss Jacobs around. I'm the one who hired him. You're just my clone. And I wish you'd disappear. Just like in my next movie, Buster by Josh Litman. It stars the amazing Jonathan Hill and the stupendous Chris Ross. Jacobs, roll the film. Hi, I'm Josh Litton, and I wrote Buster. There was once a bully called Buster who knew only one way to get attention. And he only had one friend. The math book, source of all anguish and fear. Wouldn't we all like it to disappear? <laughs> I am Harold. Hey, hey, hey. Make this math book go away. Who wants to see Buster's magic trick? Wedgie. Oh, let me go! Let me go! <laughs> Who's next? <laughs> Harold was fed up with Buster's attitude. It had to stop once and for all. Tough guy gets a girl. Yeah, right. I was off for us, I'm busy. You need help, buddy. I don't need no help. I am gonna put a spell on you. Ooh, I'm shaking all over. I'm gonna make you disappear. The only people who'll be able to see or hear you are the people who care about you. Harold, hey, 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 make this buster go away. Bring him back when he gives way. 
Are you done? The next day was like any other day for Buster. I'm showing it tonight at 7. Mondo Mart proudly presents Hoffa Salisbury steak. Again, why can't we ever eat anything decent? Buster, dinner! You don't have to yell. I'm right here, and I'm not hungry. How did that happen? He said I'm not hungry. Buster! Dinner, now! Mom, I'm not hungry. Harold's spell actually worked. Buster was invisible. Just a crank call, Mom. <sighs> now Buster had the chance to do all the stuff he wasn't allowed to do. Buster loved not having anyone see or hear him. For a while, at least. I have a showing. Dinner's in the freezer. That's fine. I'm just going to relax. Sure is quiet without Buster around. <laughs> yep. That boy gets attention in all the wrong ways. How on earth could that lamp just fall over by itself? Uh, don't worry about it. I'll get it. You, you get going. Buster couldn't believe his parents didn't care that he was gone. was being alone. Oh. Having fun as the invisible man? Why'd you do this to me? You're supposed to be my friend. The way you acted, I didn't think you needed any friends. Anyway, someday you'll thank me. Undo this stupid spell, and then I'll thank you. I already told you. Only you can undo it. Hey, how come you can still see me? Only people who care about you can see you. Ouch. decided he was going to change, and change for the good. Give me your money! Give me it! Stop bugging him! What's he ever done to you? Now that Buster's gone, he's mine! You creep! What do you have with this wimp? You are way worse than a wimp. Bring him back when he gives way. You get there. This spell's broken. Bring him back when he gives way. He gave way, and I helped that little, that little dweeb. What? You think this is funny? Get up! Come on, get up! Or are you cheeky? I'm 
I'm gonna fight you. I knew it. Good boy. Get out of my way. Don't move. Nice going, Buster. Buster finally realized that being a nice guy wasn't so bad after all. And for my final trick, I shall make the rest of this school day disappear. I am Harold. Hey, hey, hey! Make this afternoon go away! Unfortunately, Buster still felt alone. That is not good enough. Did you call the plumber? Yeah, I called him yesterday. He's coming tomorrow. That's what he said last time. Well, it sure looked like you guys enjoyed that quiet time without me. Hello? No. I don't think I'll be able to make it. I'm in a meeting. hit the spot. Family, togetherness, unrequited love, and a... And a magic wand. Jacobs, roll the slides. 11-year-old Josh Litvin is an animator at heart. Josh uses his computer and camcorder to bring his drawings to life. When he's not animating, Josh plays the sax to his biggest fan, Chloe. Sensational story, Josh. isn't big enough for the two of us. Too bad, I'm not going anywhere. Think again. Hey, 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 make my problems go away. So long, sweetheart. <laughs> Do you want to get your story on TV? Visit our website at www.storystudio.com or send a self-addressed stamped envelope to Incredible Story Studio. Box 470, Regina, Saskatchewan, Canada, S4P3A2. 